He was accused of sexually assaulting a teenage girl last year. So why was this man allowed to keep driving a school bus this year? He's now behind bars facing charges. CBS 2's Dorothy Tucker is live outside the bus company with more on parents demanding to know if CPS did enough to protect their children. Dorothy. Well, Jim, that is the bus company that the driver worked for. It is the Jules Bus Company. Now, Jules is one of the largest school bus vendors in the CPS district, but now that company's contract is under review. Drivers at Jules Bus Company pick up and drop off hundreds of CPS students every day. Now, one of them, 27 year old Antonio Ross, is charged with assaulting two students, one of them from Harlan High School. I don't think he should have been, you know, driving a bus anymore at all. You know, because it makes me think if I want to ride the bus, if that's going to happen to me. The first alleged incident was in March of 2009. Ross was accused of sexually assaulting a 17 year old student with special needs. But he wasn't charged because prosecutors say they didn't have enough evidence. But prosecutors believe Ross continued to drive buses for Jules. Nine months later, in January 2010, he was accused of using a bus to pick up, kidnap, and unlawfully restrain the student at Harlan. Because of the similarities of the two incidents, prosecutors charged Ross with both crimes. Camille Hicks and John Like represent Ross. What do you say to parents who are concerned that there is one allegation and then he's still allegedly driving a bus and there's a second occurrence. But this is an allegation. He has not been convicted of anything. Can you talk to us about the, the allegations? About we wanted to ask the owners of Jewels just why Ross was allowed to keep working, but no one would talk to us. What we've learned is that Ross is the grandson of the company's owner, Jewel Lockhart. CPS officials say they had no idea Ross was still driving a bus. In fact, a spokeswoman says after the first incident, CPS was officially notified that this driver was terminated. But did they check? That's the question some parents asked. They should have double checked and made sure that. Why? Because our children are our future, and we are sending them to school to get an education not to be assaulted. CPS officials point the finger back to the bus company. They say they expect their vendors to honor their agreements by hiring, firing, and monitoring their drivers on a regular basis. Jim? Thank you, Dorothy. Dorothy Tucker reporting. A woman